Quitting my job that was paying me over $250,000 a year was one of the best decisions I've ever made, and here's why. So about two years ago, I needed another job after I left my company Greenbits while I was trying to figure out what the next thing to do was. So I was looking around for places, places that would pay a good salary, that would pay the bills and wouldn't require a whole lot of work. Well, I found out one of my previous colleagues was a manager of a team that had an interesting project and I joined his team at a very, very large corporation, one that I had happened to be at before. I won't mention names in this video, but if you're really interested, you can find it somewhere, I'm sure. Well, I was there for what was meant to only be a year and then that turned into almost two years and it sucked. It was one of my least favorite jobs I've ever had in my life. Now, one thing that I should say about myself is I've never been one that likes to work for other people. So working at a big company like that where I'm like 17,000 layers deep in management chains, it was an awful experience. On top of that, my manager that I went to work for, he ended up leaving shortly after and then they'd cycled me through like four other managers and multiple teams and it was, it was just a mess. Well, I'd fully intended on staying there for a long period of time because, well, the cash was worth it. I didn't have to work very much to get my work done. And then on top of that, they paid a ton. So on top of my base salary, which basically exactly covered our needs as a family, which is roughly about $180,000 pre-tax a year, I got a very generous RSU program, which effectively worked out to every two quarters or every half a year would be enough for me to buy a whole nother rental property, which that's pretty hard to turn down. And it was one of the big reasons that it was very, very difficult for me to decide to finally leave. Now, when I did decide to finally leave, there were many, many circumstances that played into it that I'm not gonna get into here, but eventually I just reached a point where I just, I couldn't sacrifice my, my mental and emotional happiness for the paycheck. Now, we have a stock portfolio now that's totaling around $191,000. Primarily, most of that is from our house sale that we did two years ago. And so I did some rough math based on our calc based on our expenses and some of the consulting income that I have and my wife's income that she has and that stock portfolio and figured out that basically we could support ourselves for anywhere between one and a half to two years before fully depleting any of our reserves. And if we ever got to that point, I could always find another job if I wanted. So I just said, Fuck it, quit. That's literally as fast as it, it happened that way. I had a meeting one night and got tired of it and I quit the next morning. And I'll tell you, it was a scary moment. Um, so since I graduated college and found my first job at Outright, this is the first time in my entire career that I've not had a job which is very weird for me, it's very strange. The first few weeks of it, I was focused on consulting work and trying to keep sort of the job sort of feel going. And then as time went on, I've started to get more and more stressed about what I'm gonna do. You know, I left to start another company and figure out what that startup is and I can't come up with ideas. I have a few stewing now, but I started to get a little stressed about that. And so I ended up sort of focusing on reading which is like a really weird thing for me to focus on, but I've been reading a lot lately. I've been reading at least 30 to 45 minutes every single day for the past two weeks, and it's honestly been an amazing experience. One, it's beautiful outside here most of the time, not today, it's raining outside today, so that sucks. But reading outside on our back porch is like my new favorite thing to do. So I've been reading Ryan Serhant's new book, which uh, Big Money Energy, kind of a silly title, but highly recommend that book. It's been really getting my headspace into a great spot. On top of that, I've been able to actually work out and start getting in shape and eating well again, which is amazing. It's like I'm becoming a human being again. And that's really what I was realizing this morning when I was out for a run, is leaving GoDaddy enabled me to finally start becoming the person that I've been wanting to be. I just needed that freedom to do it. And so I've been really, really focused on building my habits. I've even built my own habit tracker app to make this happen. And it's been helping a ton. I'm now working out, I'm now stretching, I'm now eating well, I'm now brushing my teeth regularly because only my parents will understand that one. 
But on top of that, reading and getting to try and network with new people, which is granted very hard in this COVID era, and talking with friends and bouncing ideas around and really starting to like self-reflect and understand sort of problems I have and what could be a startup idea and all of these sorts of things were simply not possible in one, my emotional state at that job and the fact that someone else was in control of my time. Now I'm in control of my own time. I can do literally anything I want, any part of the day. And it's an amazing feeling and really freeing and allows me to get to where I'm wanting to go. And so that is a very different topic for what I'm typically doing, but if you're trying to get yourself to go in a certain direction and you're finding it hard to do, you might look at changing your existing environment. That might be your job, that might be your office space, it might be something entirely different that I can't think of off the top of my head. For me, it was my job and quitting it was one of the best things I ever did, even though that means that we are now running at a highly negative cash flow uh, as a family. But you know, that's what we're learning financial literacy for so we can figure these things out and have the freedom to do these things. Now, I hope this video was helpful. It was uh, honestly a little bit weird for me to make because it's uh, kind of different. So if you did like it or you know someone that might like it, share it, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.